This would be my second trip to Montana on a do-it-yourself spring black bear hunt. Except this time, we'd be riding the Cadillac of the mountains, mules and horses. My good friend Jim Sessions of Best of the West and Huskamaw would be with me on this six-day do-it-yourself hunt. After a long drive to Cody, Wyoming, I stopped in at the Best of the West headquarters to get some insight into the world's best long range shooting system. I'm Jim Bigelow, precision shooter for Best of the West. Basically what we do here is we've got three different types of rifles we make. We've got an Elite, which is our entry level. We've got a Mountain Hunter, a step up, and then we also have a signature package. We're also working on a slug shotgun that's been proven accurate out to almost 300 yards, 275 yards. And we have a muzzle loader that's been shot out to 600 yards. Uh, basically what we do here is we build our guns from the ground up. We get the components, we get the stocks, the barrels, the actions. They're all put together, they're sandblasted, they're seracoded, painted. Uh, they come up here, I'll do a barrel break in, lap some rings, put a scope on, and every gun that we send out the door is datted. We don't tell you we have a half minute gun unless we shoot a half minute gun. And what a half minute gun means for those of you at 200 yards, that gun will shoot an inch or less. All ready to go. Uh, it's got a jewel trigger in it, defiance action, and this one's a proof research barrel. And I can tell you this is a half minute gun. And this is our top of the line. This is our Cadillac right here. On this hunt, Jim and I would both be carrying 300 Win Mag Best of the West rifles. For the last year, I've dedicated myself to learning how to become a mule skinner. I broke a young mule in early 2017, but because of logistics, we chose to use Jim's veteran mountain horses and mules on this hunt. This hunt was as much about learning how to hunt the backcountry using equines as it was about killing a bear. We started off in far northwestern Montana and hunted for three days without seeing a bear. We were carrying best of the West rifles, capable of shooting extreme distances, and we were looking to get into some more open country. I knew another spot, and on day three of our six day hunt, we sacrificed a full day to travel into the new location. My wife and I had hunted this area in 2014, and about the time we got it figured out and started seeing bears, we had to leave to get home to our family. Getting all these horses and mules ready to go, but uh, we're saddled up and we're about five minutes out of heading down the trail. over there and kill that big boar you saw two years ago. Heck yeah, it was a good boar. Just got up about 1,500 feet elevation above our camp and we have seen a sow with two cubs, two big mature boars, and one of them was chasing the big black lone sow. They're probably 1,200. 1400 yards away we're gonna get down on this ridge and we think we're gonna be in Huskamaw range oh. he's still out in the wide open yeah yeah okay I'm getting some video of it I mean you can barely see him the sow slipped over the ridge and the first boar followed her over a second big that's color face boar came up from the draw followed Man, their exact trail
it's 1.30 in the afternoon. We saw these bears at about 10 o'clock this morning. We've been staked out on them. Since then, we moved in closer, within a thousand yards of where we saw them at one point. It's May the 20th. It's not early. It's probably just right for rut activity, but usually you'd think of it closer to June. To make a very long sad story short, we never saw another bear the rest of the trip. This is a classic spring bear hunt and those suckers are tough to find. I rode out of there with my tail tucked between my legs. I was going home for the second time without a Montana black bear. The only thing I can tell you is that by mid-May everything was green, the bears were rutting and they were spread out and just hard to find. However, I learned a lot about backcountry hunting, and I can guarantee you one thing, I'll be back after him again. This was the final episode of the 2017-18 Bear Horizon series from Bear Hunting Magazine. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like our page, subscribe, and more importantly, subscribe to our print magazine at our website and like our page and click the notifications button. All you YouTubers know how to do that stuff. Jed and I are just gonna be here kicking it at the global headquarters and look for some new projects in 2018. All right.